We pick up our Bible study today in Hebrews chapter 13, verses 7 through 9. The New International Version begins Hebrews chapter 13, verse 7 with the words, Remember your leaders. And I believe that it is a better understanding of the text than that of the New King James Version, which states, Remember those who rule over you. As in following Christ Jesus, we are all called to servanthood, not to be rulers. This text is referring to our pastors, priests, and Bible teachers who have taught us the scriptures over the course of our lives. The author of Hebrews gives instruction to not be led astray by false teachings, but that our hearts be established by grace, the gift of God through his son Jesus, who came to save the world from sin, as we know from John chapter 3, verses 16 and 17. The author of Hebrews is giving instruction that salvation is not based on the foods that are eaten, but on the condition of one's heart, as we see in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 9. And also in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 8, stating from the New King James Version, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. This is a command to remember and pray for our pastors, priests, and Bible teachers as they need spiritual support in leading as God would have them. There are many great preachers, priests, and Bible teachers that have noted that they believe the success of their ministry God has given them is due in large part to the many people who were praying for their ministries. A proper understanding of the biblical text and presenting it in a way in which the congregation can relate to it is very important for the preacher, priest, and Bible teacher, but most important is the work of God's Holy Spirit in the life of the person called to teach the Scripture. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 uh, teaches us from the New International Version to pray continually. And I promise that every priest, pastor, and Bible teacher will welcome your prayers gladly in Christ. Dear Lord, those you have called to teach your word are in need of the work of your Holy Spirit to work through us to guide our congregations properly in Christ Jesus and the need for forgiveness in and through the work that he has done on the cross and through his resurrection. Please let it be so, Lord. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.